What's up guys, welcome back to Project Time Garage. Our little free Project Toyota needs a few things. No back window, that's a problem because it sits outside. So, um, it's a small dog. So today we're gonna put a back window in it. I'm gonna show you how we rope in back windows, kind of some old school stuff. You don't see it very much anymore, I don't think. Um, get that done and then a few other little housekeeping things that need to happen with the truck. It's it's gross. The inside is absolutely disgusting. I'd planned on doing the inside, like interior treatment, fumigating it um, way before now, but I didn't. So let's get started and see what all we can fit into this episode. All right, let's start with the back window. Let me show you how that works. All right, so to put these windows in, we use a piece of rope and the, the pinch weld on the truck, that would be this part right here it sits in this track right here. So basically the goal is to sit the window in on the bottom side. Now we won't be able to get the whole thing in because this rubber is a little bit longer than the whole window opening. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to find some way to start to, once we get the window set, set in place, to start to pull this this lip through over the top of the pinch weld. And the easiest way to do that is with a piece of rope. I'm just using uh, just a piece of paracord. What I'll do is I'll tie a loop in one end of this. I'm gonna take my loop and I'm gonna go all the way to this corner with it. And that's where I'm gonna start, start with my loop. I'm just going to feed this rope in the track all the way around the whole window. And when I get down to this loop that I had, I'm going to put it through there and just pull it back nice and tight. And I'm going to try to bury that knot the best I can under there. So you see what I've got going on here. The knot's kind of buried. Now, obviously we're not going to try to pull this big knot across the pinch weld. We're going to work, work with this way beforehand. So the next stage of the game, let's get the back window out there and let's get it sitting in the truck so that it supports itself a little bit and then we'll start the process of roping it in or pulling this rope to uh, to pull that lip through there. I'm going to take both ends of our rope and I'm going to just kind of I'm going to lay them through here on this side. We make sure that we pull down on it as much as we can, and then we just basically start pulling this, uh, pulling this wire through. I'll pull some on this side down here. All right. So the bottom's in. Now we'll tell you some soapy water will help out if if you find yourself having issues. Um, but this one's going pretty good so far. But from the back, I'm just gonna kind of push it to uh, to make it as easy as I can, giving every chance I can of going in. I'm gonna go ahead and pull the bottom some too. Occasionally, I'm just gonna take an opportunity to to kind of. Uh, the window and make sure that it's seated firmly and that my headliner is going underneath. I'll come back here in a few minutes. We'll take a trim tool and we'll push all this back in. So it's about the halfway point of the window. Let me trade places with you and we'll finish roping this thing in. Again, we'll take every opportunity we can to, to hold the window and kind of give it Plenty of opportunities to cooperate with us. And back on the top. 
All right, We're getting there pretty fast. I'm not too worried about this right here being out at this point because I can easily pop these Christmas trees out and work with it. But I'm afraid it's going to be crispy because it's been out in the sun for so many years. Just like this right here, it's so flimsy that it's just hard to deal with. Now you have to be careful when it starts to get tight, like on this side, because you'll end up tearing or ripping the seal. So it's a good idea to just kind of push the window as much as you can that way, kind of beat it over that direction to kind of help seat it that way some. Again, you're just giving it every opportunity you can to cooperate. There we go. Now, when you're hitting the window, if you happen to hit, if you have to hit the glass, use the palm of your hand like this. Don't use your fist. So what I'm doing is I'm just going around the frame, open-handed, and I'm just kind of uh, smacking it a little bit. But that's it, the back window is in. Now we'll try to get ourselves something to work this under. This is an industry specialized tool. It's called a screwdriver. And I'm just gonna sit it under here and just kind of work this, uh, work this seal under here. That. Hear how that hear how that thing wants to crack. That's why I'm that's why I'm not messing with it much. Everything that's gonna go, that is terrible, you can't even touch it. Everything that is supposed to be in there is in there. The back window closes, and locks. Good stuff. How about that? Back window back in the truck. That was easy. What do you want to do next? Maybe the interior? No, I know what we're gonna do next. We're gonna pull the um, power steering hose off of it because the power steering hose I think got eaten in the in the engine bay fire and when you try to put uh, tr put power steering fluid in it goes <laughs> all over the place so I'll pull it off it's just a standard high pressure hose I'll pull it off take it to my local Napa store tomorrow and Napa will just cut the ends off and recrimp them and have a brand new shiny hose. Let's pull that off real quick. Say so that's had the wrong size wrench on it at some point in its life. This thing should be empty, at least I hope it is. Yeah, that is anyway. Well, how long is this? About that long. That is a power steering hose, boys and girls. Yeah, I would say that's got something to do with it. Pieces fall off of it as you turn it and twist it. Yep. Check out what we got. Brand new power steering hose. Napa couldn't remake that hose because of 
something about how it was made. So we bought a new one. Cost me like, I don't know, 30 something bucks. Let's put that on. Have power steering again. sure exactly how that's supposed to be routed but I'm going to use my judgment. I'm going to use my judgment of some zip ties. Who's taking bets on whether or not the pump's any good? Good grief. We have made some progress. We've been down here for what, like an hour? About an hour. And we've already gotten the back window in it. And we've got our power steering hose off. What can we do right now? Kill this fly? Gotcha. No, I just hit myself. Let's, uh, let me let you hear the noise that it's making um, down in the front hub. But I'm out, you're right here to this fender, so you're able to hear this front wheel. This sounds good. All right, before we leave, I think it'd be helpful if we assigned job responsibilities. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'll drive and you watch and you listen. That sound good? Oh, here's what you're watching for and listening for. Right down here. Clicky, 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 clicky. Kind of sounds like gear stripping. First, we'll drive it with uh, without the hubs locked in, and I don't think we'll hear the noise. And then I'll stop and lock the hubs in, tell you guys when I do it, then you should hear the, uh, the issue. So, let's take a ride. Let's put you in the back window in our newly installed back window. Got to have some air conditioning somehow. Uh-oh, he fell out. I'll never get it back in. things are really this one's really hard to turn lock lock okay all my watchers watching my listeners listening it's about to get real
pretty sure four wheel drive is not working. We're going to test right here at this gravel. No, four wheel drive is not working. Spinning like crazy. Matter of fact, the tires on this thing are so junky. I've got to get a run and start at like 20th gear or I won't make it at all. Let's run second. So that's a pretty interesting noise, isn't it? What do you guys think it is? You think it's a hub or something else? Let me see down in the comments what you think it is. Um, anyway, what do you guys want to do next? Oh, look, I have a full-on dog play session going on right here. Dogs, hey dogs. What are we doing? What are we doing here? They're playing. They're just loving, loving life. <laughs> anyway. What do you think we should do next? I'm thinking steering wheel because it looks rough. In fact, let's go do that. It's pretty obvious what the problem is. It has hooks there and there. And those hooks hook here and here. And then it has on the bottom here and here, it's got places that are, they're supposed to have screw bosses, but those screw bosses are here and here, totally broken off. Let's pull those out and glue it back together. We're gonna use Q-Bond to fix this. Link down in the description to Amazon for this stuff. If you've never used this stuff for plastic repair, get you some because it is that good. The basic, basic gist is this. It has some powder, like plastic powder, finely granulated powder. And then it has this, um, this ultra strong super glue junk. Idea is you sprinkle some powder around, you put a couple of drops of this on, it starts to basically make plastic out of it. Pretty cool, I know. So let me, let me walk through this. Our first piece, I'm just going to kind of set it up there and make sure that that I have it together the way it's supposed to go. I've got it reasonably set up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cue bond here just to get it to, to start to behave. I'm just going to put a, just a couple of drops on here. and just hold it on there for a second and that will get me that will get it to be kind of stationary while I actually work with it and do a repair so the idea is going to be this I have a crack down here I'm going to take some of this powder some more powder Some more drops and finally I'm gonna come back around to the top here and this stuff gets pretty much everywhere but it's part of it I found that the more this junk I waste the better it, the repair is okay so there is that one done So I'll do the same thing with this side. Basically do my best to get it lined up the way it used to be. And glue it in place. Something like that. Dump just a little bit of this in here. Try my best to get my finger 
glued in there while we while we're at it. Okay. Once you get started, it'll hold pretty good. Okay. Let's go back to the truck and see what that looks like. It, it's hardened immediately. Yeah, so try this stuff out if you need plastic repaired. Um, it's a little bit pricey, but man, it works. I gotta say, I've had this stuff in my garage now for a long time, and it sure does do a good job. And no, I'm not getting paid to say this. I didn't get this for free. I bought it, bought it on Amazon. I've bought it like three different times because it works. It absolutely works. So anyway, Cubond, link down below. All right, our steering wheel's back on there. Looks a ton better, the Cubon did its job. And look, I even have a horn. Also on that Cubon stuff, I fixed this up here. Um, you can see the crack where it was. This thing is just like, as brittle as potato chips it seems. So I took it, I took it off and then Cubon under the bottom of it and it's a really strong repair. It's not gonna break again. In fact, it'll probably break somewhere else before it breaks here again. It's just that you can see the crack because I only bonded it from the underside. So, steering wheel taken care of. One more thing off the list. Well guys, that's going to do it for this segment. Appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. A lot of things getting uh, checked off of this little truck fast. It's starting to come around and be a... No, it's not a decent little truck. It's starting to be a better little truck. Uh, we'll get it toward decent and then, then we'll decide what we'll do with it. We're either going to turn it out, flip it, and sell it, or we might just turn it into one of those Back to the Future trucks, you know, Marty McFly's truck from Back to the Future. I always liked those. I don't know what we're going to do with it. We're in it cheap. We have pretty much nothing invested in it, so there's a lot we can do. Anyway, we'll keep on ticking these little boxes and getting things taken care of in the next episode, so you guys stay tuned. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends about us, and I'll see you next time.